Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Mr. Myers here with your last video of the week. We're going to talk about deflation now. So, we've talked about inflation so far, including its causes and the different types of it. Now let's talk about deflation, which of course is the opposite. Deflation is when you have a general decline in your overall price level. So everything in your economy is now getting cheaper. So if inflation can be harmful, is deflation, a general decline in your price levels, beneficial? Well, the short answer is no, it's not. And let me walk you through a couple of examples that you can see either on this video, hopefully, if the glare's not too bad, or you can follow along with the slides as I explain it. So, let's assume you are a corn farmer. Yes, I know, I love the example of corn farmer. But assume you're a corn farmer and cur corn, <laughs> corn, corn is currently selling for $5 a bushel. And you can produce it for $4.75 a bushel. So you got a 25 cent profit there. Therefore, you plant your crop in April with the expectation that you're going to harvest it and sell it in August when it's ready. But if your country is suffering from deflation, what happens? Well, by the time that you harvested your crop, the selling price of corn has dropped to $4.60. So instead of making that 25 cent profit per bushel, you actually are now losing money per bushel, 15 cents. Now it's spring again, you have the opportunity to plant again. What do you do? Your country is still experiencing deflation. So the cost of your seed, your fertilizers, the cost of your workers is going down. You estimate that you can produce a bushel of corn for only $4.30 a bushel. Will you plant corn this year? Well, if we were in class, I would take some answers, but the short answer is probably not because you know that the price is going to continue to go further down for your selling price, so you might not be eager to produce corn. If you're going to lose money by doing it, why would you do that? Here's another example. Assume you are in the market for a new car. Your current car works just fine, but you're eyeing a new model. The car has not changed, but because the country is facing deflation, the price of that car has gone from $32,000 to $30,000. You're like, sweet discount. In addition, economists predict that the country will continue to be in a deflationary cycle for at least the next three years, with prices falling an average of 10% per year. So, are you going to purchase the car this year? Well, of course not. Your current car works just fine. You want a new car, but your current car works. And you know the price is going to go down for another couple of years, so why not save, save your money and then purchase it in a couple of years from now? So as you can see, with the corn farmer not producing and with you choosing not to buy a new car, not only are we producing less products, but we're buying less products. Not exactly a good recipe for an economy. Kind of like COVID-19. Not a very good recipe for an economy. So deflation causes consumers to cut back on their purchases and businesses cut back on their investment. Overall, that lowers your GDP growth. Now, this graph here shows Japanese inflation. And once it goes below 0%, that means you have deflation. So Japan is actually a good example, especially during the early 2000s and into the later 2000s and especially after the Great Recession, so in 2010, they were experiencing deflation. And I have a great video, but I'm not gonna play it because it might be blurry, but it's gonna be attached to this assignment, and there's gonna be a question that goes along with this video about Japan's deflation, and of course, why that would be bad. So take a look at that video, and then uh, here's one last thing on Japan's inflation rate. And where it's expected to go uh, in the future. So they're expected by 2024 to get to about 1%. Now that was before COVID-19 and all that happened. But remember what I said in the last video, two to 3% inflation is good. 1% is okay, but deflation is bad. So take a look at that video, complete the assignment on deflation. That's it for this week. Have a good one and I'll see you on the next video.